This is Brad Morton with Morton Design Group here to present the Savadon Residence here in Yarba Linda. This is my first attempt at the yard makeover and uh, as you'll see here we're looking down on the project. This is the uh, house here in the middle. We've got the existing pool and the spa back here. We have existing uh, solid balcony here, proposed patio cover, proposed hardscape, and proposed uh, new hardscape makeover for the front yard. So as I uh, start to spin down into the 3D environment here. I'll show you what I've come up with. Uh, on the left here first uh, we'll start by uh, showing a raised uh, planter wall with a, a little pilaster here to kind of separate you guys from the neighbors. I've got a little hedge row in there right now. We could uh, bring a little tree up here if we wanted to. Uh, we're removing the uh, palms back here, the queen palms, and I'm putting in more of an uh, evergreen tree back here. Uh, in the driveway you'll notice uh, I've gone to an 18 inch wide uh, stone band where we have plenty of room to air on the side of each of the existing cracks and, and brick uh, banding and we'll be able to cut that open and uh, saw cut the existing concrete fields and maybe do a sandblast and uh, color uh, acid wash or color uh, wax uh, to change the color a little bit. I'm doing uh, random flagstone banding and a little bit of uh, flagstone, uh, just solid flagstone down here towards the apron of the driveway and the entryway. Uh, you'll notice that the entryway still has an angle like we talked about. Uh, I felt that coming straight out to the curb uh, just wasn't real conducive for uh, uh, the visuals uh, that we needed to, to pull off there for the uh, cul-de-sac location. And we talked about that, so that's nothing new to you. Here's just a uh, side view of how this wall uh, raises up about 18 inches to two feet here and kind of diminishes back as the uh, grade goes up toward the uh, garage. And then this is a, uh, a lawn area here too, off the uh, immediate edge of the driveway. This is kind of a view of the front um, pilasters, the steps. Uh, we've got a total of about eight steps, seven, eight steps, depending on the tread height there. And uh, three of them will be down in this area, another one here, and then three additional ones up by the uh, front door. I've got a couple uh, pilaster lights here and uh, columns with a precast cap or poured in place cap, I should say, and a uh, stack stone veneer. I've got uh, flagstone step edges and stack stone veneer faces. Uh, this takes you up into a nice uh, long level uh, courtyard area with a vessel fountain in the middle and uh, some bench seating over to the right here. Um, and then you would pass on either side of this vessel feature and this is kind of centered on the uh, gap opening here. The door is a little bit to the right just because of the uh, way the architecture is on the home. And then again I have two more pilasters here with a step up to a, uh, a platform that ties in with more of the upper driveway height here. And this is it from kind of a bird's eye view looking down. And then we have a statement tree back here on the right and up here in this front left lobe of the, uh, the courtyard area. Here's the house. I'm showing just kind of a uh, sagey green um, contrast on the siding. Uh, showing a stack stone uh, wainscoting with a, uh, a white wood trim veneer here. Uh, the white wood trim was just looking a little bit more cohesive than the uh, poured in place and uh, would be uh, obviously financially a little bit uh, less expensive to do it this way. This, it just tied in with the trim of the house a little bit better, but uh, we, can, uh, we can explore the other options as well. I'm staying with a flagstone stoop up here. Um, we could go with a, uh, another type, but uh, the flagstone was working instead of putting a band around it, so I'm sticking with that for now. And going over to this side of the house, you'll see the existing uh, concrete uh, more or less here with existing grass and planters. That's uh, not to be uh, changed at this point in time. Um, looking in the backyard here, this is a bird's eye view of the backyard. You'll see the existing pool and spa. Uh, you'll see the existing equipment area, existing balcony, and then some of the new things. Obviously, you'll see a uh, proposed uh, wooden open beam patio cover here coming off of the balcony to provide a sense of uh, uh, enclosure but yet let the sunlight in as well uh, so it doesn't get too dark in the house. 
We have a large grass area here. We've removed the large uh, sport court. And uh, over here I do have a, uh, a new pathway uh, leading up to the patio here. Looking down here, you'll see the existing balcony, existing columns, and then I thought we would mirror those columns out here. One on the outside edge and then one in the middle of a uh, proposed masonry barbecue area. So I've got a dual level barbecue here. Uh, four bar stools and those have commanding views of the uh, backyard, the pool. Uh, the grill here is orientated towards the pool spa so you can uh, see while you're cooking. And then under here we have room for uh, some love seats and chairs. We have room for a, uh, a dining table experience out here as well. And I'm showing an option of another location as well that I'll get to in a moment. Here's some heaters up here. This is a step up to the level of the pool deck and that flows on to the pool. The pool is six inches higher than this deck. This material here is uh, either a slate or a uh, even a ceramic tile that would tie in with the stone or a travertine. And the idea here is to try to keep as much of that uh, existing concrete patio as we can and overlay that. And then areas where we extend beyond the existing concrete, we'll pour a new concrete subdeck and overlay that with the same material. And that, so I propose that we use that on the lower deck here to uh, cut costs and to uh, get a rich look. Uh, you'll see here that we take three steps up to the spa. No longer is the spa raised six inches on its own, but I've uh, brought a deck around the back of it that is uh, flush with the spa. I've modified the dam wall to increase its width and I've put in a stair step type uh, tile approach there. Added pilasters throughout with some uh, urns to uh, jazz it up a little bit. And then a couple waterfall features on the back here. Uh, this back area is now raised up 12 inches and this becomes a nice observation uh, deck up here and uh, second destination from the uh, lower area. And this is a view from the spa down the pool. Another view from the uh, seating area out here back towards the house. And uh, over here you'll see the proposed uh, reef step, Baja shelf in here. And again, flagstone coping, new tile, uh, stacked stone veneers, and uh, pour in place caps on the wall caps uh, where they're shown is kind of the concept here. So that's my first attempt at uh, the redesign of the project. And I uh, thank you for your time. I look forward to your feedback. Thank you very much.